Words such as courage and fight often conjure up big images. Yeah, but tonight Brad shows us how those qualities can come in a small and very inspiring package. Right, Brad? Yeah, Kim. More than three million people in our country suffer from a brain disorder known as epilepsy. It isn't contagious, doesn't cause mental illness, but it makes living a normal life beyond challenging. But Trenton and Bianca Simonson have learned their five-year-old son, Sammy, is up for the challenge. So is his football buddy, Bo Furstenberger. Sammy and Bo have this thing they do. Rocket ship will shake you up. And when you know what both have been through to make the shaking stop, it makes you smile all the more. I knew something was wrong with Sammy when he was just a couple months old. Um, he was my fifth child, and he would tremor. He would shake his head all the way to his toes, and he would just stare. And since Sammy never lost consciousness, the doctors told the Simonsons to keep an eye on it. It should go away. They did, and it didn't. When he was a year and a half old, um, I heard him yell for me about 5 in the morning, and something said, you need to go in that room. And when I walked in, he was in his crib, fully convulsing. Sammy had cortical dysplasia. His brain didn't form on the left side, and when the neurons from the right side tried to fire to the left, they hit a divot. Sporting events, he's dropping to the floor, seizing. I'm trying to grocery shop, he's dropping to the floor, seizing. I'm driving a car, he's having a seizure in his car seat. His epilepsy at times would require four drugs. It only got worse till he was hospitalized suffering 20 seizures per minute. The choices were dwindling. When Dr. Mangano started explaining what they would do, that freaked me out as a dad. I'm like, you know, you wanna disconnect my son's brain? Wow. A functional hemispherectomy, a full disconnect of the left side of the brain in hopes of stopping the seizures. He left us seizing. He left us seizing. Um, but What's that feeling like? Helpless. You're helpless. You're desperate. What would you trade to make it stop? Your child, when they wake up, is going to be half blind. And we were told that he would be basically paralyzed on the entire right side of his body because he has no left brain anymore. And since speech is located on the left side of the brain, is it possible it could relocate to the right? The doctor came in and um, we were in ICU and he said, hey, Sammy, I'm going to shine a flashlight in your eyes. And you hear this little kid. He's got bandages all over his head and just his little cute face sticking out. He's like, no. Sammy went a year and a half with no drugs, no seizures, till a day last February when Sammy told his mom he was feeling shaky again. We had a couple days um, where we just, we just cried. The brain disconnect wasn't 100% successful, so some of the left side was still trying to fire. But medicine has kept him seizure-free since June. And Sam wanted to play football because Bo, a neighbor and a senior lineman for Kings, did. I can't imagine having a child and, you know, seeing them go through pain. And anything I could do to help them, I would. November is Epilepsy Awareness Month. And Bo didn't think too many people were very aware. So he helped round up his friends, his teammates, his coaches, for a night of purple in the midst of red. They have had struggles that most people don't realize. And it's, it's, I feel like as a community, we should get together and explain to everyone about epilepsy. I think maybe you're throwing a coin, aren't you? No, I, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna fold the coins like this. Yeah, and are you hoping for heads or tails? You don't really care, do you? He shook me off. He was going to play football let's give a big round with Bo. For our honorary captain, number 53, in true miracle, Sammy Simonson. The honorary captain gets to join the coach in the locker room for the pregame pep talk. Tonight, Sammy is the pregame pep talk. The choices you make on a daily basis to battle obstacles, all the while never fearing defeat, is your gift to share with others, as it will inspire everyone who comes in contact with you. And always remember, Sammy, mm -hmm. once a night, always a night, buddy. Yeah. All right. Kings won the game, and Bo, he's heading to the Army after graduation. Sammy's helped teach him his mission.
I, I feel like I need to, with my life, help people. And uh, I don't know, that's just always been my calling. Sammy is probably the most thankful oh, yeah. out of all our kids and probably the most joyful. Mm -hmm. and he's got the most challenges. Challenges? Sammy's on a rocket ship. Whoa. <laughs> Buckle up. Neither one of these guys are afraid of the ride. Sammy has almost no use of the arm he simply calls righty. He still has a 50% chance of having brain surgery again, but lives every day like it's the greatest day he's ever had. Should you feel so inclined, you can make donations to the Epilepsy Foundation of Ohio. We have set up a link on our website, local12.com.